Let's look at a dialog, another communication tool, which is actually not a standard feature of Moodle 1.9, uh, which is what I'm trying to explain through all the other two-minute Moodles, but it's a very, very handy uh, tool to have, uh, particularly in a high school setting. Okay, we're back to a, um, a course for which we have editing rights assigned to. We turn, once again, the magic editing button on, so we can add activities. So di dialog is just another activity. We add it. And we give it a name. Let's call it Suggestions. And uh, this is where you students uh, can uh, suggest improvements to our class in private. Now, I deliberately put the word in private here because uh, dialogue is exactly that. It's between the two people and particularly for some of the sensitive information that kids don't want to particularly share through forums or wikis or blogs or any other communication tools available in Moodle. Um, these are very, very, um, this is a very, it's a very handy way of doing it. We have um, three different types of dialogue, teachers to student, <coughs> which means only there's a communication channel between teacher and student, as, as um, the word suggests, student to student, where teacher is actually not a part of it, or everybody, so teachers to students, student to teacher, anyone can dialogue anyone. And they remain private conversation, no one else but the people designed who are supposed to see it can actually see it. Um, uh, by all means, please do allow uh, one dialogue with the same person, particularly in your if you're in a class, um, which means you can have a dialogue, a few dialogues open with all your kids. Uh, whether you want male notification or not, I'll leave it up to you. And if you have certain groups assigned, um, you can have them add as separate groups or visible groups. This little help button will explain the difference between the between the three. Okay, let's go save changes. As you can see, there's a um, title of the dialog and the little instructions at the top. Now let's open a dialog. We open a dialog, and we pick a student from. Let's say we want to uh, open a dialog with Abraham. And uh, let's say, well, subject homework. And we'll say, Abraham, if you are having trouble with your uh, homework, this is the spot to tell me about it and I can help you. Okay, excuse my typing and typos, but this is the sort of thing that I personally use the dialog for. Feel free to use it for other purposes, of course. Um, we click Open Dialog. And as you can see, I've opened a dialog with Abraham Barry. There you go. Now, Abraham, I can add to this entry, or Abraham has exactly the same screen, and he can ask me, perhaps on the weekend, when we're not in class, if he's got any problems with his book. I'll show an example. Okay, this is an example from my economics class. Uh, the kid was, um, the, this student was in, in school that day, and she says, uh, hi, Jamie says something about economics text on Thursday. What was I missing in a class? I simply um, wrote back a reply, uh, and pretty much gave her some instructions, and when she came back to school, everything was okay. She was up to speed. And when you go back to the dialogue, uh, if there are any dialogues awaiting replies from you, it pretty much shows who is it with. Um, I'm yet to reply to these two guys. And I simply reply. My reply. Just test, look. Please ignore. Okay, and I add my new entries. If you click on the uh, this um, little shaded area, don't let it confuse you just because it's shaded, I can see all the other dialogues and uh, pretty much the stats of them, who is it with, number of entries, and when they have actually seen them. So um, this, uh, this entry by Luke Snell, which I've just entered, he hasn't actually seen the entry that I've recently posted. Okay, and we're back in our original dialogue. Now, dialogues are um, very, very useful, once again, for the private conversation. And 
they have been largely replaced by the messaging system, which I'm about to show you as well. But um, when the messaging system is turned off, uh, which we do sometimes in schools to avoid time wasting, um, uh, dialogues are a very, very useful tool for um, exchange of information with students and engagement. Thank you.